Mississippi Delta, the birthplace of blues music and what was once the poorest place in the United States, Tunica. But Tunica's fortunes changed in the early 1990s when riverboat gambling was legalized. Jobs and tax revenue helped turn the community into a picture postcard of the Deep South. We're a small town. We're a population of 1,030 people in this little community. We know everybody. You feel everybody's sorrows, pains, and hurt. Mayor Chuck Carricker witnessed Tunica's casino boom, then bust, when competition led to dwindling revenues and closures. I hate to see when a casino closes because that changes our, our jobs for people. It changes the number of uh, our unemployment rate goes up and it, it dislocates families. Now Tunica is betting on sports gambling to revive its fortunes. Gold Strike Casino placed its first sports bet a year ago after a landmark Supreme Court ruling allowed individual states to begin opening sports books. We're having our best year ever. I mean, we have more people coming through our doors, we have more gaming revenue, uh, we have more people enjoying our facilities. But almost next door, a very visible and very different story. Sports betting arrived too late for some companies in Tunica. This casino closed down at the end of January because it was no longer profitable. And this one closed down at the end of June for the same reasons. And both casinos also blamed increasing competition from neighboring Arkansas, where sports betting has just been legalized. Competition aside, Tunica's revenues haven't matched initial forecasts. And restricting sports betting to casinos only may not have helped. In May, Mississippi sports wagers totaled $17.4 million. But in New Jersey, where sports gamblers can play online as well as in casinos, sports wagers totaled nearly $320 million. Nowhere else in the U.S. took as much money. And in this rush to cash in, some experts are concerned about the lack of research into the impact of being able to bet on any element of any sport, whether in a casino or on your phone. We know that gamblers tend to be impulsive. And when you're watching, you're in the middle of watching a game or a match, and you can make a wager on some odd event that occurs, um, it both keeps you excited and invested in the game, but it also um, might prey upon or be predatory to people who tend to be impulsive in nature. Seeing our town grow is what's nice. In Tunica, Chuck Carricker is trying to reduce his community's economic dependence on gambling by diversifying tourism while overcoming Mississippi's recognized stigma of slavery. We've got a lot to offer and, and people say, oh, I don't want to go to Mississippi. Come give us a chance. Give us the opportunity to show, your, our, show you our southern hospitality. A town steeped in the blues that needs a sure bet to secure its future. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, the Mississippi Delta.